So we still have that ridiculous friction applied, but if we jump over, we, <laughs> we hit that box and it sends us yeeting into the distance. <laughs> All right, guys, today we're gonna to be making something sticky and something bouncy. So we're gonna be messing with Physics Materials 2D. Let's jump into it and take a look, see how these work and why you would use them. All right, so I have a game built here and it's very basic. I have a player that gets moved at a constant force to the right. I have a ground, I have some enemies that I need to jump over. Also on the player movement script, I have the jumping ability, and I have this box right here that is an obstacle. We can make this box bouncy. So we're gonna do that by adding physics material 2Ds to these colliders. So the collider is the intersection between two objects. We can change how that intersection works by adding physics material 2D. It's not a component, it's a separate object. So in my assets here, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and create a physics material 2D. It's in this dropdown. I know it's off the screen, you guys can't see it, but we can grab it here. And let's go ahead and make this one called sticky. Now, if I take the player here and I add sticky to the material in there, now the player itself is sticky. So when I play this game, we can see that it will probably not slow down hardly at all because I've set the friction to be 0.4, which is the default. So we can see that's the, the normal rate of speed that you can see. Now, if we go into the physics material, we can see we have friction and bounciness. Friction is the friction that it applies to an object, that, or the friction that it has. Bounciness is the bounciness of things that collide with it. So we're gonna go ahead and change this friction to something like 100 so that you can, guys can really see what happens. Now, when the player falls down and hits the ground, we can see that it's going to slow it way down and even make it turn so that the friction is being applied or the friction is on the player and so it is sticky to the ground. Now, let's make something bounce. So I have this um, bounce object here. I'm gonna create a new physics material 2D. I'm gonna call this one bouncy. And I'm going to edit the bounciness to be something like 50. Bounciness is a big thing. So just be cautious with your numbers. But so now this big white box will have once we drag in the material, we'll have a bounciness to it. So anything that collides with it will bounce off. So if you're gonna make a trampolining platform or a, or a ball in a game or something like that, this is how you would do it. Now, if you're gonna make the ball that's bouncy, the ball wouldn't be bouncy. Everything that interacts with the ball would be bouncy. All right, let me show you what I mean. So if we play the game here and we jump over those enemies once it loads, come on, Mac Mini, you can do it. So we still have that ridiculous friction applied, but if we jump over, we, <laughs> we hit that box and it sends us yeeting into the distance, but that's how you add bounciness to a platform and friction to an object. Physics Materials 2D, super cool.